everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. And now just a brief reminder. This is the time of year when colds are exceptionally prevalent. And I want to be sure that you all know what a valuable aid Horlicks malted milk can be for warding them off. Rich in vitamins and bodybuilding elements, it helps to build up your resistance, increases vitality in a way that lessens risk of infection considerably. That's why no family can afford to overlook it as a valuable addition to the everyday menu. For instance, it's fine as a welcome change for breakfast, as a drink between meals, for the youngsters, or as a snack to have just before going to bed. You'll find scores of other ways to use it. So I suggest that you get a package of Horlicks from your druggist and always keep it handy in the pantry. You won't have so much to fear from spring colds then. And now, let's see what's happening down in the little town of Mount Ida, where the Lum and Abner Circus is now showing. Well, Lum and Abner are still unable to solve the mysterious disappearance of the receipts from their circus. For two days straight now, the money has been stolen out of the safe in the wagon that they use as an office. Suspicion has been placed on almost everyone connected with the show, but as yet no definite clue has been found. Yesterday, Lum decided to hide the receipts for the day in the trunk instead of the safe, and he and Abner planned to take turn about sitting up to watch it during the night. As we look in on the circus grounds today, we find Lum in the office apparently very excited about something. Abner is just entering the wagon. Listen. What is it, Lum? What's the matter? What's the matter? We've been robbed again, Abner. We've been robbed. Huh? I just now opened the trunk to get that money out to take it to the bank, and it's gone. You mean that we taken in yesterday? Yes, sir. That money I put in the trunk last night has gone. Well, I was swung to goodness. Well, whoever got it must have broke in here while we was over at Greenwood this morning. Well, the wagon and the trunk both were locked up while we was over there, Lum. Yeah, but whoever got it must have had a key to the trunk for the lock ain't broke or nothing. Look at that. Well. The trunk was locked and everything, but the money's gone. Well, they must have had a key to the wagon, too, then, Lum, for it was locked up while we was gone. I think that's right. Nobody ain't stole your keys from you, have they? Well, I know. If I hadn't had the keys, I couldn't have got back in here. No. I dog that this is getting to be serious, ain't it? Getting to be? It was already serious. I don't know what this is. I granny, something's got to be did about it. Well, what can we do? Well, I'm going to find out who's been taking that money if I have to burn the woods and sift the ashes. That's over $800 that's been stole from us this week. Yeah, every dime we've took in. What's worrying me now is how we're going to pay the performers and buy feed for the animals. Well, maybe we can take in enough between now and the end of the week to take care of that, Mom. Well, it don't do us no good to take it in. Somebody steals it as fast as we get it. Yeah. I'm going to get the police out here. That's what I'm going to do. Well, the only trouble, old Mom, is to get the police out here. Everybody will know it, and then whoever's been stealing it will be hard to catch in, sure enough. Yeah, that's right. I grannies, we'll just set a trap for them ourselves, Abner. Set a trap for them? Yes, sir. We'll just put the money in the safe again tonight for bait and catch them ourselves. And, and then set the traps around in front of the safe, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. No. Set traps in front of the safe. Well, that's the best place to put them if they'll open the safe while they got to get around there in front of it, Lon. Well, we ain't going to set no traps for them, Abner. You just said we was. I ain't talking about steel traps, though. I- I'll tell you the kind of a trap we could set, Lom. The-, the line trainer was telling me the other night how they catch them lines there in Athens. Well, there ain't no line breaking in here and taking that money. I can tell you that right now. Well, no, but you could catch a human the same way. All you got to do, Lommy, you just dig a great big hole in the ground right out there in front of the wagon and then cover it all over with brash and hay and stuff. And then when they step on it, why, they fall down in the hole and they can't get out. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake, that ain't the kind of trap I'm talking about, Edna. Well, he says that's the best kind. You, you, you got to put some uh, fresh meat out in the middle of it, though, so that when they start after the meat, why, they'll fall through the chevron over the hole, you know. Well, what would a robber want with fresh meat? Well, I don't know, but he said that's what they use there in Africa. Well, that's because they're trying to catch wild animals. Whoever it is we're trying to catch is after money. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, we can just put the money out there, then. Use that for bait. Well, we ain't going to dig no hole in the ground. Now, you just well get that idea out of your head right now. 
What I mean by setting a trap, we can put the money in the safe and then set up and watch. See who comes to get it. Well, I um, ain't going to come in there, me and you sitting there in a the wagon. You know that. Well, we'll hide. Get outside there in the dark summer. Yeah, but how are you going to catch them if you ain't got no trap there? Well, if we see somebody trying to open the safe, we can run in here and throw a gun on them and march them right down and turn them over to the police. Yeah, but well, well, what if he gets away, though, before we can get there and get him, and then he's got all our money? Well, you need to worry none about that. He's too fat to run very fast anyway. Who's too fat? Huh? Oh, well, well, I don't mind to tell you, Abner, I believe Squire Skimp is the one that's getting that money. Oh, no, no, I, I don't believe it's him, Lon. I might not know he done it. Well, he said that you're the one that's been taking it. Me? Yes. He told you that? Yes, sir, that's what he said yesterday. Well, he told me the same thing about you yesterday, too. Huh? Tried his best to make me believe you done it. Well, that ornery low down, good for nothing. Now, he told me the reason that he knowed it was you, Lom, was because that he hear that, that, that you was going to buy Zenora a big uh, diamond engagement ring. Why, that snake in there. That's what he said and said you was taking the money. See there, he's just trying to lay the blame on everybody else. He's accused you and me and Zenora and her brother and Cedric and everybody else. Except himself. Yeah, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Lom. There's somebody coming around the wagon there. Huh? Who is it? Well, what do you want? Oh, what is it, Cedric? Uh, guess who just now drove up out there in front just now? Who? <laughs> oh. uh, Mr. Huddleston and his wife and Ethel. <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> well, whereabouts is he at, Cedric? I reckon what he's doing over here. <laughs> he's out there talking to Squire now. The, the women folks went on in to watch him feed the animals. Well, I'll find too good. Well, I, I just can't hardly wait to see him. No. And <laughs> find out how Little Beth and Pearl's getting along. Well, here's Mr. Dick and Squire coming down. Here, there, both of them in here, Mr. Dick, right in here. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Cedric. <laughs> You're kind of dressed up since you joined the circus, haven't you, Cedric? Yes, Mom. This is a brand new suit I got. Just bought it today. Well, I'll swan to goodness, Dick Hunter, sir. How oh, yeah. <laughs> in the world are you? Come in here and sit <laughs> down, Dick. <laughs> I'm sure proud to see you. <laughs> well, how you fellas been? I'm glad to see you, sure. Yeah, what in the world are you doing way over here, Dick? <laughs> well, I just thought I better or to come over here and check up on you fellas, see if you're behaving yourself all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're doing the best we know how. Uh, no, no. Me and the wife and uh, Ethel, we drove into the county seat today and got two in there with their business early and just decided to come on by here on our way home and see how you fellas getting along. Well, fine. I'm sure proud you did. <laughs> I was fine ready, Dick. Oh, just about the same, Lum. There's nothing new to know of. Nothing new, huh? Yeah, I hired little Pearl and Linda Bear. Why, just fine, Abner. I saw them yesterday. They was in the store there to get the mail. If I'd known I was coming over here today, I could have brought them along with us, too. They had plenty of room. And I, I sure wish you had them. I would love to see them. But I... <laughs> I don't reckon Elizabeth could leave the place right here at planting time. Now, uh, sit down, Dick. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, well, if uh, you gentlemen will excuse me, I expect I'd better get on around there in front, you know, and sort of look after things. Uh, I'll see you before you get away, though, Dick. Yeah, sure, Squire. I won't be leaving for a while yet. Uh, Abner, I wonder if I could speak to you for a few minutes. Me? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll be back in a minute, Dick. All right, Abner. Well, sir, how's Evelina? Have you saw her since I've been gone? Why, uh, yeah, I've seen her a time or two, Lum. Uh, her and Frank Forster seems to be keeping company pretty steady now. Well, I'll swan to goodness. That snake in the weeds. Frank Forster. A minute to turn my back on her. I know it. I know it. Uh, uh, say, Lum, uh, what's this the squire's been telling me about you fellas having some money stolen over here? No, he's done told you about it, huh? Yeah, he, he was telling me, said that uh, two days straight there, that somebody broke in your office here and stole what you'd taken in the day before. Well, not only that, but they stole what we took in last night, too. Last night? Yeah, over $800 has been stole this week. $800? Yes, sir. If you don't mind, ID's on it. Squire Skimp's the very one that's been a-getting it, too. Squire, huh? Yeah. I'd have him arrested so quick it'd make his head swim, but there's just one thing I can get out of my mind. What's that, Lum? Well, that is why if he was going to steal it, why he didn't do it when he was running the circus by himself and had charge of the money by himself. Me and Abner wasn't with him then, and it wouldn't be no trouble at all for him. No. Well, I hear Lum. Maybe he was stealing it from you then. Huh? I say maybe he was. 
while he was running the circus for you, while the show was losing money all the time, yeah. I know you, you had to go in there and the bank and borrow money to keep it open. But here now, since you and Abner joined up with it, why, you've been making money. That don't sound right to me, Lon. You mean you... Ha- uh, Granny, that's right. That's the reason she wasn't taking in enough to pay expenses over at the county seat. Well, of course, I don't know anything about it, Lon. But that's just my opinion on it, you know. But I do know Squire Skim. I've known him for years around Pine Ridge here. I know there's nothing too crooked for him to do. Yeah, I've been studying about some of the stunts he's pulled on us. The well, time he bought the store off us and, uh, and uh, just the same as beat us out of it, you know. Well, Lom, for the last two years, Squire Skimp has been beating you and Abner on every deal that you got in with him. Yeah, that uh, oil well business. I ain't forgot that neither. Well, he'll do anything. There's nothing too low down for him to do. I, I just hate to see him get in this circus with you. I told you. Well, that. I don't know. Dickie come over there and talk so honest about it. I just thought he'd go straight once. No, that no. blame his hide. Talking to me the way he did yesterday and then turning right around and stealing it again this morning. This morning. Yeah, well, me and Abner took turn about setting up last night or watching it, so it was bound to have been stole this morning. And when we went over there to Greenwoods, about when it happened to. See, we're opening up over there tomorrow. Oh, you are opening up over Greenwoods. Yeah. Right? And you left the money here in the wagon this morning. Huh? Yeah, for going? about three or four hours. Walked right here in this wagon, too. Well, uh, has Squire got a key of the wagon, huh? Well, I sure he has. He's the only one that's got a key besides me and Abner. Well, well, on you and Abner had no business, both of you, leaving that money here that way in that well, way. Well, I know it, I know it, but Squire come in here this morning in a big hurry and wanted me and Abner to get in the car with him and run over to Greenwood and put up some window cards. And... Wait a minute. All right, Granny, hold on here. That money was stole while we was over there this morning, and Squire went with us. So Lum and Abner and Square were all three out of town when the money was stolen. The next time you're in your neighborhood drugstore, look for the name Horlick on the malted milk dispenser at the fountain. If you see it, you can be sure that the store has a high standard of quality. You can be sure that that druggist stands for quality and believes in giving his customers the best. For when he serves Horlicks at the fountain... You know that he is spending a few cents more to give you the purest of ingredients, to give you all the richness, the flavor, the good nourishment of Horlicks, which he knows to be so much superior to any imitations. Now, this matter of quality in your drugstore is mighty important to your health and to the health of your family. So be sure and watch for the Horlick name at the fountain. If your druggist doesn't serve it, ask him to get Horlicks, the original malted milk. This is Carlton Bricker, speaking for Lum and Abner and the Horlicks, who now bid you all good night and good health.